nose and I didn't blend it 100% right there. What, what is that? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm doing a foundation review, but I'm doing it a little bit differently. Um, I'm gonna be doing like a two or three day review. I'm not quite sure yet, but today's review is going to be on the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. I have the color 110C. Um, I am going to try it on today first after I give you a little bit of information for it. Um, let's see, this product is $38 and it comes in 50 shades. It's vegan and cruelty free and the shade categories are fair, light, medium, tan, and deep and it goes very light to very deep. So I'm really excited to use this. Um, I'll post uh, in the link in the description section down below all of the ingredients in it, but I do know that it says on the website for a complete updated list of ingredients, use your, um, look at the uh, product, con product container, look at the box that it comes in, the packaging. So I will link that down below and I will, um, I don't know if I have anything else to say on this so far, except for um, today I'm going to do um, just the foundation only. I'm going to do half of my face with primer, the other half with none, and I'm going to wear the foundation all day long. And then I will give you my final th my final thoughts at the end of the day. But throughout the day, I'll do a couple of check-ins to let you know how it's wearing. I'm not going to use any powder. I'm not going to use any. Um, concealer or anything I'm just gonna use the primer this is the primer I'm going to use it is the touch and the touch and soul no problem prime essence I use this one a lot I love it and like I said I'm only gonna do half of my face Now they do say that this is a luminous natural finish. It's supposed to be long wearing, medium coverage, it feels weightless and looks ultra fresh. Um, what else does it say? It says that it's free of flashbacks, flashback or oxidation. So we'll see how that works out. Um, Let's see what else. They're saying it's water resistant and it masks discoloration. So we'll see. I love that it has a pump. It does have a pump. It's formulated without gluten, paraben, alcohol, oil, mineral, or talc. And like I said, it's cruelty free and vegan and it does come in 50 shades. So let's try this on my face now. Right now I'm gonna do one pump and do one side of my face. And then I'll do the other side. And I'm just using uh, a Morphe sponge. Okay, so far, this is what it looks like on half of my face. It's a very good color match. My face is pink, so 
I don't match my face, I match my neck and chest. So this is half my face done. I can still see a little discoloration peeking through there. And this is the other side. Okay, so let's get this next side done. As you can tell, it is very luminous. Even on the side that I didn't use primer on, this is the primed side, and this is the non-primed side. I'm gonna go in with just a little bit more, just like a little half a pump, if that, just for my nose, because my nose tends to get really weird with foundations on each side. I don't know why, but it does. I must say I am loving this foundation so far. So let me zoom you in real quick so you can see what it looks like on just the foundation on bare skin. Okay, so I've got you zoomed in. Of course, you know I have wrinkles because I am old and I have mature skin. But this is what it looks like with just one pump on each side and then a half an extra pump in the middle on my nose and I didn't blend it 100% right there. What, what is that? Okay, here we go. Here's what it looks like up close. You can still see I have a little bit peeking through right there. And a little bit peeking through right there. So one pump on each side, just one, one coverage is quite amazing. I'm going to do just a little bit of a pump just to see what it does if I add more to this. Hmm. That seems to have covered a little bit better. Let's add a little bit more to the other side. bit too much so let's add just a titch bit over here and now let's finish this okay so a half a pump actually worked a little bit more to cover that let's see if I can cover that little spot right there on my forehead that did for my forehead wrinkles don't mind my dry AF lips okay so now that I have this on I am not spraying it I am not putting any powder on let me zoom you back out I feel a little uh, 
vulnerable so close. Okay. So I must say that it is a really good color match. Now, as you notice, my face is a little bit darker than the rest of my body. Hey, I grew up like in the 80s and the 90s and sunscreen really wasn't that important back then, even though it should have been. So anyway, I am done so far. Um, I am not gonna powder it. I'm not gonna put any other makeup on. I might put a little bit of mascara on just so I don't look as crazy, but I do have my eyebrows done. My eyebrows are done and when I come back, I'll probably have mascara on. But um, I'll do some periodic checks throughout the day and then I'll come back at the end of the day and give you my thoughts and then I'll let you know what I'm doing for tomorrow's video because I'm going to do two or three day wear test on this so I will let you know. Remember, this half is the, found is the primer, this half is not, and all I am wearing is the Luminous Foundation. Nothing else except for eyebrows and mascara. So I'll see you in a few minutes, it'll be a few hours for me, bye! Okay guys, I'm back and it is, oh uh, god, I don't even know what time it is. It is 9.13 according to my computer. My phone's in the living room, so sorry about that. Um, and I also remembered that I forgot to tell you that it was 11 o'clock when I put this on. So it's been on for, whoa, how many hours? 10? Yes, 10, because if it was 11, no, okay. So it's been on for about 10 hours, and I must say, I'm not mad at it at all. I don't look completely oily because um, I get shiny, but I think I'm more dried at dry skin because um, I've used matte foundations that have really dried out my skin. That'll be, I'll show you that in a, in a future foundation video. But um, yeah. I am loving the way it sits on my skin. I mean, of course, you can see some fine lines and stuff, but that's normal throughout the day. Any foundation probably is going to do that. Um, not to mention, I am older and I have fine lines and wrinkles. So um, I have the a little bit of a, I'm gonna touch up my nose right there, because I had glasses on, so I had an indentation, but that's, I have not touched my face up at all. My lips are dry. So before I zoom in, I'm gonna put a little uh, Carmax on. And um, oh my God, my husband, I can't sometimes with him. I told him, I said, I'm gonna put on my PJ pants so I can film my, uh, my video, the rest of my video today. And he's like, your vagina pants? <laughs> vagina pants. So now my PJ pants are vagina pants. So anyway, I am going to zoom you in so you can get a closer look at my skin. So don't cringe. Okay, here we are. This is as close as I'm letting you get. This is my left side. This side did not have any. This is the non-prime side. And this is the prime side. I really don't see a difference. I'm, I'm really not seeing a difference at all in it. Um, I really don't see, I mean, it is a little bit weird on my nose. Like I said, all foundations get that way. If you can see a little bit dry in right there. I really need to find a good moisturizer, people. So if you know one, let me know down below. And of course it's a little dry right there and a little crusty right there, but it's not breaking apart on my nose like most foundations do. I mean, it's a little bizarre right here on the tip, but I've been touching the tip of my nose and I did touch my chin a little bit. But other than that, I mean, look at the coverage is still there on my face from when it was earlier. And it's still on my face right there from earlier. And of course it's settled into my wrinkle lines on my forehead, but you know, if I wanted to tap that out, I'm probably sure it would tap out. But you know what guys, I've had this foundation on for 10 hours and I'm sorry, but it, it I think it looks fabulous for 10 hours. And I'm Anastasia, Anastasia, I think it's Anastasia. 
Beverly Hills, you guys knocked it out of the park with this one, or should I say Norvina, because I know Norvina's been working on it. So now I'm gonna zoom you back out because I'm feeling a little bit vulnerable right now. Yeah, that, that shouldn't, I shouldn't have done that. So, with that being said, um, I am going to go. I'm gonna go wash my face, take a shower, because I need to get this off. 10 hours is a long time to be wearing makeup. I don't know how some people do makeup for like, you know, 24 hour day. <laughs> I don't know. I need to get this off because I can, you know how sometimes at the end of the day you just feel it and you're like, ah, get off. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna go because I have two more days to film for this um, review. Um, tomorrow I'm going to use this and I'm gonna use this. The loose setting powder. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Okay guys, it is day two and we are going to be trying a wear time test with the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, foundation. Again, I am a 110C and I'm going to be using their setting powder today. And I grabbed the color translucent, translucent, I cannot talk today. Translucent. Anyway, I picked that because I didn't want it to alter any colors. And you know, sometimes setting powders can darken your foundation. And my foundation, I find, is a pretty much perfect match. So I did not want that to happen. Now, let me look at what they say about this. It is... There you go, sweetie. It is offered in five different colors. It is $36. They have translucent banana, which is a pale yellow. They have vanilla, which is ivory. They have peach, a deep peach, which is a warm peach. And then they have a golden orange, which is a golden tan. So this is cruelty free and vegan. Um, it's supposed to perfect, brighten, and set makeup in place with ease. It's lightweight, super fine powder. Formula goes on smoothly as it absorbs oil, minimizes shine, and leaves you with a flawless matte finish. Now, I'm not really into matte finishes, so I am not gonna use a whole lot of this. I'm gonna use as much as I would a normal setting powder, which is not much. So, um, like I said, it's $36, and it is quite big. Hold on just a second. Okay, so you get... 25 grams, 0.9 ounces in this. And just, this is the Too Faced Born This Way and this is this one. And the Too Faced Born This Way has 17 grams, 0.56 ounces. And, and it will run you $33 for the Too Faced. The Anastasia is $36. So for $3 more, you're getting you're getting a little bit more ounces. Let me see, 19, 20, 17 and 25. So you're getting eight more ounces. So that's, that's a pretty good deal. Okay, so I will list the ingredients down below in the bar. So let me prime my face because I'm gonna do primer on my whole face today. And again, it's the No Pore Blum Prime Essence by Touch and Soul. Don't mind my janky nails. I really like this primer. I don't know why, I just do. I don't, I'm not a big primer person. Okay. Let me wipe the rest of it off on my hands. All right, so today's video, um, like I said, I'm just going to use the foundation and the setting powder and that's it. I'm not gonna do anything else to my face. Um, I will put on some mascara though, so I don't look totally 100% bizarro because I'm not gonna have anything else on my face. Um, right now, it is only 10.30 in the morning and we are already at 91 degrees and it feels like 109 super fantastic cannot wait for the rest of the day so 
I'm gonna do, like I did yesterday, one pump on each side. So there we are with one pump on each side. I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more here and a little bit more on this side just to cover up those little uh, imperfections. So just a half on each side and then I'm gonna bring it down my neck too just in case. Okay, now I am going to powder. That's all I'm putting on my face because I can't powder too much because I get way too dry. So, I don't even have a lot in the brush. I'm just gonna start on my nose and work my way out. Okay, so there we are with, oh, my hair's a mess. It's up because I'm on like day two or three of not washing it and yeah, it's kind of getting gross. So as you can tell, I do look a little bit hair scary. I mean, I'm all even, I'm all one tone, which is not normal for people. So uh, that's why I need to put on some mascara. So I'm not looking too Caspery today. But anyway, um, I have to go and work for a couple hours and, and then I also am going to go and do a little bit of a running around. I'll be going to Ulta later today to pick up some more foundation to try. So that will be exciting. So um, yeah, I'm gonna venture out into that wonderful heat that I showed you. Um, as of right now, 10.38 in the morning. So I will be back in a couple of hours to let you know how it wears. It'll be a couple seconds for you. First, I'm going to zoom you in so you can see what it looks like previously. Hold on. Okay, so here I am with my big five head. Don't get too scared. This is what it looks like with the powder. And I have not set it, so it is not set right now. I'm gonna throw on a little bit of lip gloss and some mascara. I will probably do that mostly off the of camera. Sorry, I had to throw on some lip gloss now because my lips look totally horrible. So I'm gonna zoom you back out because I'm feeling a little bit vulnerable again really close. Okay, so here it is. Like I said, don't mind my wonderful hair, but I will be back in a few seconds for you and a couple hours for me to let you know how this wonderful face is going to go in this wonderful heat that we have here. Because yes, it's amazing. I can't wait. 91 degrees feels like 109. Fantastic. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Okay, hi guys, I am back. It is now 925. 
So I've had this on for quite some time now, and as you can see, I threw on some lashes and some uh, mask and some mascara and some liner because I had to go out and do some errands today in this wonderful heat. So as you can see, I am not melted off. Um, I'm a little shiny, but not too much. Um, it looks great. I can't I can't say anything bad about it. I mean, it's looking beautiful even in the 90 degree heat so yeah I'm gonna zoom you in real quick so you can see it hold on okay it held up a little good there I mean you can still see it peeking through it peeking through a little bit there but it has been all day and you can see in my my fine lines but other than that I think it looks great what do you think so this is today. Tomorrow I'm going to do it all again, but I'm going to do a full face with um, bronzer, blush, uh, everything else. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Hello everybody. I am back and today is day three. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to throw on some primer, the foundation. I'm gonna put a little bit of powder on. Um, I might powder one side with this and one side with this. I'm not sure yet because I want to see how it reacts with other powders and I really don't feel like doing a full week of foundation review for one foundation. Um, but if you want me to try it with other powders just let me know and I can do some quick updates down in the uh, bar or some photos and post them on Instagram or some little um, little couple second videos to post on Instagram so just let me know in the comments down below what you want to see so with that being said I am going to just start putting this on my face but first um, I'm gonna get a hair tie to put my hair back with I will be right back Okay, I am back. I have my little bow on. Don't mind the little bit of uh, foundation on it. I have to throw it in the wash, so. All right, I'm just gonna start with a little bit of primer. So I'm going to try something a little bit different too. I'm going to use my sponge on one side. I know I've been using the Morphe sponge, but I want to use this one because I normally use this one when I put on my, I normally, I use this one too when I put on my foundation. I switch from back to forth. I don't know why, but I'm also going to try a brush on the other side and, and then we're going to see how it comes out. So let me just make sure my brush is clean. Now I'm just using a Luxie 732 airbrush foundation brush right now. I've used it a couple times before and I love it. I'm only going to do one pump on one side and one pump on the other like always. But I am going to use it on my nose. Okay, so that's just one pump with just stippling it in, and if you can see, it gives me more coverage than it did when I was using the Morphe bra, the Morphe sponge. So I'm kind of digging that. Don't mind my hairy face. I haven't uh, shaved my face lately. Yes, I shave my face. I do it so my foundation sits better. And also, I have quite the hairy face. It's the uh, Portuguese in me, even though you would never know since I'm so pale. All right, pump, one pump. Now we're gonna go in on this side. I 
one. I really do like the coverage that I do like the coverage I get when I use the sponge. I think it's because it's that like a microfiber so it's not completely flat and it's not sucking up as much product as regular sponges. Let me know if you use this and if you like it compared to any other sponge you've used. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit so you can see what it looks like put on with the brush over here and the sponge over here. Now you get to see my billboard. Okay, so this is the sponge application. Now see, as you notice, my nose always has weird application no matter what I do. So I'm gonna try to fix that up a little bit after. Not so bad. I might add a little bit more. Okay. And this side right here is the brush. Sponge. Brush. And now I'm going to zoom you back out because I'm feeling a little vulnerable again. Okay. So now that I have that done, I'm going to put on a titch bit of powder because you know I don't like to super powder. So I'm just going to take, oh, that's probably way too much, ever so slightly amount. You can barely see it. And I'm just going to. Just slightly powder this side with that. And I forgot to put concealer on. So let me stop before I powder any more under my eye and throw on just a tidge bit of concealer. I normally don't wear concealer because I can't find a concealer that sits well on my face. The only one I've found that works decent is the Jeffree Star and I don't even put it under my eye because of my creases, but that's neither here nor there. And I don't go all ham in with my concealer either, like all these like beauty guru people do, because um, that's just way too freaking much concealer, if you ask me. Way too much. I, I, I honestly don't think anybody needs that much concealer, but what do I know? because even the amount I put on right now is way too much. And I didn't even need to put that much on. All right. I'm going to go back in with a little bit more powder and just that is it on that side now I will definitely mark down in the box what I used on what side now this side right here is the Anastasia the Anastasia 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 I don't know how they say it just let me know. And the brush, okay? This side. So I'm gonna put this over here so I don't forget. So when I do my description box, I won't forget. Now on this side, I'm gonna use this Becca, um, 
Hydrate Mist Set and Refresh Powder because I got this in a boxy charm and I absolutely love it. It goes on and it's got the most cooling feeling and I like how it has this little lid to keep everything nice and cool. Now it is a little tinted, so I'm hoping it doesn't change the color of my foundation too much. But again, see how it's got a little bit of a tint to it? So I'm just gonna take my other, a different brush. It is clean, it's just ever so slightly go on this side. Oh, I love how it feels so cooling. Now that I have that on, I'm going to show you. I didn't even use that much of this one. Okay, so just to recap, I put on my whole face the No Pore Bloom Prime Essence by Touch and Soul with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation in 110C over my whole face. Now on this side, I used the Juno & Co sponge with the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder on this side. This side, I used the Luxie 732 airbrush foundation brush and I used the Anastasia powder on this side and this is in translucent just in case I didn't say and like I said this like you saw this one has a slight tint so hopefully it doesn't mess with my foundation too much so this is on this side this is on this side now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go film my other two videos I'm doing a boxy charm unboxing and a ipsy unboxing so It'll be a couple hours before I check back in. I will probably have a full face on because that's what I want to do too. I want to do a whole full face maybe. And then um, after that, it'll be a second for you, but it'll be a couple hours for me. So I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Hi everybody. I am back and I am here for my check-in. It is a final check-in. I am so sorry that I didn't do one before, but I've been so busy today. Um, I am here to let you see the final results of this foundation. Now remember, this side had the Becca Hydra Mist setting powder, and this side had the Anastasia Beverly Hills powder, and remember this one was the brush and this one was the, uh, the sponge. So I'm going to pull you in close and let you look at this. It's held up really well. It's like... I don't even know what time it is at night. It's, it is, it's 8.58 at night. And this is what it looks like. Yeah, there we go. And yes, I have texture, of course. You know, remember, I'm old. But, I mean, seriously, look at it. And I'm not in my normal filming place. I am at a friend's house. So, yes, that's a bed in the background. But I, I can't. The Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation is life. It, it's looking amazing. I mean, I have a little bit of weirdness on my nose, but all foundations do that on my nose. I haven't had one that has not done it yet. So if you can find one, let a girl know. Anyway, I just wanted to check in because I do need to get this off of my face because I'm dying and I might be trying a different foundation soon. But yeah. I just want to say, also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel because it would mean the world to me. And hit that notification bell down below so that way you know when I upload new videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye! I know that.